Hey, what's up, crew? My name is Anger Manager. We're jumping back into Persona 4 Golden right now on PC, and today we're getting ready to save Marie. We're going to be entering in the Hollow Forest, if we remember last time, so let's get that show started. Ugh, it's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Risei-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place. It's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The Hollow Forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest... We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I was wondering the same thing. Amino Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marie-chan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? Hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Are you thinking that you're getting us involved in your personal problems? Nobody's thinking that, buddy. That's right! I'm burning up! <laughs> Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Wait a sec. If I come and save Emi-chan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not.
here we are guys, we are finally inside the Hollow Forest, the final dungeon in the game. Uh, well, not maybe not the final dungeon, who knows. Uh, pretty sure this is going to be our last hurrah, uh, based on how we're going for the ending here. Of course, there there could be additional content that we may or may not be seeing. I don't want us to go any further into spoiling the game, but we are in the Hollow Forest. This game does have a very unique stipulation, in case you guys didn't realize, our characters are all wearing their default costumes. Uh, all our items are gone. We don't have any items at all, so our healing items are gone. We don't have access to them. Our weapons are gone. Everything is gone. Uh -huh. uh, so this is a very a interesting uh, dungeon. It's also a very frustrating dungeon. We kind of want to avoid as much, as many fights as possible. As a whole, I'm just throwing that out there uh, based on the interesting right, stipulations. There's even won. more interesting stipulations in this dungeon as well, in case you're going to see it in a few seconds here. So shadows are attacking us when we cut the ropes uh, to get into new rooms. It's not going to happen every time, it's going to happen more often than not. But in case you guys notice, our SP, our spirit points is what they're calling it. Uh, I always saw the skill points, but okay. Uh, our spirit points are halved. After every single encounter, our spirit points are going to be cut. And that's very frustrating from a, a perspective uh, when we're playing in the game. Keep in mind that our persona does have Victory Cry, and guess what? Victory Cry does not mean anything uh, in this dungeon at all. It's going to hurt us more so in the long run, having Victory Cry, because it's not going to do anything for us. I don't even know if it's going to recover our health. Uh, but the good news is we're level 99, so we're very overpowered as a whole. And so taking down these shadows might not be as hard as uh, we're thinking it's going to be. Uh, but even still, it's, it is it is a frustrating uh, thing where we're going to kind of have to go through this dungeon and, you know, we're losing our uh, spirit points. And yeah, we do regain some every turn in battle. Uh, there are items, obviously, that we'll probably be able to grab in the dungeon. I'll give us, say, 4, 8, 12 additional uh, points per uh, turn, such as the Grease Stone. It's actually going to give us a full bar coming here. So the Parting Stone gives us... Uh, I didn't even see what it said. The party stone will give us a certain amount of SP back per turn. Uh, the grease stone will give us back 12. So every turn we'll get 12 SP back. Obviously, it's going to be helpful for us at this point, if you think about it, to have our battles last longer. If we have longer battles, we're going to gain more SP back per turn, which I think is going to be a good thing in the long run. But at the same time, if we're trying to get through this dungeon as quickly as possible, uh, we're going to want to avoid as many encounters uh -huh. as possible so but at the same point in time darkness. you guys know how persona games are at this point after our last uh, big dungeon boss battle with dachi where it was a dachi uh right. then it was uh the big technodrome like thing uh two phases we didn't recover all our hp and sp can you imagine having uh a bigger boss fight like that uh <laughs> with without recovering anything so you guys can imagine how infuriating uh, that would be. So it's really, it's really kind of frustrating, and especially if you mind that yes, our S P will recover every uh, every turn if we every character has that item. It'll be beneficial for us as a whole, but it doesn't help. As you can see, every party member's S P still goes down in half after every battle. Yes, they go down. So we have to kind of figure out the best course of action here. Uh, if that means that we're going to play through and have longer fights uh, just to ensure that all the party members still kind of rebuild that SP. But at the same point in time, you see it. Everyone's SP went even down further. And I know that's, that, that's a very annoying uh, thought process here. Uh, and I, I know when I played this last, I, I played this for the first time in seven years recently. Uh, I remember summer of like 2013 was like the summer of Persona 4, uh, getting uh, Persona 4 Golden on the Vita, and I was just rekindled my love for the franchise. Uh, I used to never play games uh, multiple times. Uh, every once in a while, there would be that game that you would have to play, you know, one, two times, one or two times maybe uh, in the, a span. But Persona is the series that I can play uh, four or five times. It still, it, it still feels great. And going into Persona 4 Golden after, you know, years without playing Persona 4 uh, maybe rekindled my love of the franchise as a whole because they hadn't come out with anything since 4. And then uh, the arena titles started coming out, had to grab those, and then 5 was announced, and that was just torture. 
and then from like four playing golden both times in 14 to 2017 without really playing Persona uh, games was very frustrating as a whole too. And it, it's great that you know more titles are more accessible now in multiple ways, be it emulation, uh, Steam, a PlayStation Store, or even trying to find the original copy. I still have my original copy of Persona 4 uh, in my dresser drawer. I don't have a working PlayStation, but this is what's going to have to make do. Uh, he's playing uh, Golden on either the Vita or the PC, and I'm so happy that enemies. it's out on the PC that more people can experience it. Uh, I do wish they would have like three and other titles. Not five yet. I'm not ready for five to be shared with people outside of PlayStation 4 and 3. Uh, that's just me being selfish. <laughs> that's me being very selfish. But right now, we're just kind of wandering around this dungeon, trying to avoid as many encounters. And we're trying to get as many of these chests as possible. And we're going to give... See, the, the Parting Stone gives each person 8 SP per turn. Meaning if our fight lasted more than past our main character, everybody would get 8 SP aside from our protagonist. And whoever I give the other Grease Stone to, which I gave it to Naoto first, uh, we would be able to get 12 SP. And if we have to... Uh, I, I, I honestly think we're going to be able to get 5. Uh, 4 of them. My bad. 4 of them. If we can get 4 total, we should be okay. Um, Keep in mind, we're not. We our armor was taken from us as well as our weapons, so we just have basic default armor. So what we're gonna kind of want to do is we're gonna definitely want to. Uh, we got that lightning jue, uh, which will help us against lightning attacks. So we're kind of in this interesting predicament right now, where we need to figure out the best course of action for proceeding in this dungeon, uh, as well as even taking it out uh, possible ridiculously powerful high level. Uh, boss at the end of said dungeon because it's not going to be easy. I'm telling you that right now. This is a dungeon where no matter what you want to be level 99. I, I strongly encourage it. You do not want to go... You could have gotten past uh, the last one uh, Nagatsu Inaba. You might have been able to get by that at level 85. Maybe. Uh, highly unlikely. Uh, you might have been able to get by that without having the continue in battle on. This one, I strongly encourage you being as close to a max level as possible. Even if you're 1995, you might have a hard time. Um, the boss is in just this entire dungeon as a whole. It requires a lot of patience and like, uh, I guess we gotta kind of plan it out a bit. Once you figure it out, how you want to go through this, there are two obvious options. One is to have every single encounter possible and uh, hope you can pull the shuffle time and pull the cards that re, uh, refill your HP and SP. Or you can uh, have every battle as possible and lengthen your uh, battles uh, so that everybody gets a little bit of that, that, that boost back uh, for, for their SP. And it looks like even Risei's special ability uh, that she has that and it kind of refills your power points, your, your power points, uh, your spirit points, SP, you know, your skills, uh, the ability to do your skills, uh, is not an effect. You're refilling your HP, that's something she's able to do between battles, and it's in, it's an interesting situation. If you guys remember, in the previous dungeon, uh, Dachi, there was a floor where he didn't want us to even have any encounters. So you have to realize, they do try every once in a while to throw a stipulation at us, and yeah, it gets kind of annoying from time to time, but... It really does add a new layer of challenge that to the game. To we don't want we the game to, to be win. so easy that we can just like walk through it. We do want some challenge. We do want to have to feel like we need to. Uh, I don't want to say like not like you know think uh, or just like blow through it. We need to. We want to be able to feel. Like I said we're being challenged. That's the key. You want to be challenged in these having games. You don't want to be overwhelmed. This is a demon souls, you know. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine if they made a Persona Demon Souls-like game? A uh, game where you die as permadeath with your server. I, in case we're, we haven't actually died that much in this game, uh, outside of the Reaper battle, so I don't know if we'd be okay or not. But remember, the difficulty levels, they, they're, they're very forgiving difficulty levels. They still have that challenge where we need to... We need to make sure... Uh, we're, we're at a high enough level. That's the thing is that I like to grind. Uh, I, I grind 
a lot in these games. That enemy's so weak much weak. that, you know, it kind of doesn't really matter that we're, uh, you know, getting our butts handed to us. We're just a high level by default. Keep on keeping on right now. That's our that's our ultimate goal right now. We're gonna keep on plowing through here. As we uh, keep wiping out these enemies really quickly, we're not really getting a second turn at all uh, for ourselves to really kind of replenish that skill points. And I know a lot of people are sitting there doing going like Banjo, why are you doing this to yourself? And it's not about me doing it to myself, it's just how I'm playing the game. I have my character, our protagonist, so overpowered. And I want to blow through the dungeon as quickly as possible because I don't want to have any, like, really hardcore negative repercussions. Like our party members dying or anything like that that would really hurt us in the long run. I don't want to do that. That's just something I don't think I could handle. Right now, we're checking every single uh, at every every single corner of the floor if possible because I want to make sure we don't miss out on any of the regular chests. We don't really have many keys, so using a key, if we get a key, we will be able to open one of those golden chests. We don't have keys right now. All our keys are stolen from us. We're not able to do anything with them, so we're going to have to kind of... Uh, wing it, and those 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 golden chests have like the armor that we're gonna need. I don't know if they have weapons, but they're gonna have armor, and we're gonna really need arm better armor because our default armor it sucks. Now I don't know. I should I should have realized this. I should have taken the no money thing. Uh, it looks like we're not getting any money. We're not getting any money from these these battles at all, uh, which is annoying, but understandable at the same point in time. I get it. We're not getting money. It's fine. I'm not even angry about it, but like we're looking at this and kind of just wandering around. This is in each floor. They're not like you know listed Hollow Forest floor one, two, three, four. They're literally have a different name. This is the Memories of Sorrow. And if you guys haven't realized, each floor we're getting at the beginning of the floor we're getting uh, a one of Marie's poem. Uh, so it's really adding this intricate layer of depth to the game. Now, I don't know how Marie's story really ties into her having her own dungeon uh, or any kind of conclusion that she's having at this moment in time. Um, I don't know. I just know Marie is literally like sitting there like she, she might have figured out who she is and this is what's going on. I honestly can't say for certain at this point in time. God darn freaking golden chest. But I, I want to say that really could be it, that her memories finally came back to her, and she knows who she is, what she is, you know, all that stuff, we're gonna get that exposition soon, uh, once we get to the end of the dungeon, Whoa, and that's the key thing, we want to get to that end of that dungeon, uh, and really find into that story, because, like, yeah, the main story of Persona 4 is over, we stopped the fog, uh, when we took down Adachi, we got to spend time, uh, with our friends, in terms of, like, you know, the holidays and everything like that. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. That sucks. Um, but, you know, we still have the golden portion of the game. This is, this should be it. Now, if we actually, what's probably gonna happen is when we finish this, uh, Oh, we have one that gives us 10. Okay, cool. Uh, when we actually finish this this dungeon here, we're probably going to have like one more day left, and it's going to be mainly a cutscene. Uh, if you guys look at the day, it's February 13th. Um, so that means tomorrow is Valentine's Day, which means we're probably going to have a special date uh, with our bay, with the, which is uh, Yukiko, in case you're wondering. Uh, if you are dating more than one girl, there is going to be consequences on Valentine's Day, and I do not want to... I'm not someone that can actually do that. I can't handle uh, dealing with those kind of consequences. So we're going to obviously have that Valentine's Day with Yukiko. And now the thought process is that either we're going to get a time skip or we're going to get uh, a chance to kind of wrap things up. It wouldn't really matter at this point because we would have already done everything. This would have 
last task we have. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about doing that. So we. They also skip White Day, most likely. Uh, I think for the first time in the Persona games, White Day actually did use White Day. And White Day is. Uh, well, they'll explain Valentine's Day in game. But uh, Valentine's Day is the day for girls to give guys chocolates. Uh, guys, they like. They can give, you know. Relationship problems like a boyfriend or a uh, husband or fiance, or um, you know, if they're in the same sex relationship, you know, girlfriend as well, uh, those kind of chocolates. And then they can also give friendship chocolates to those that are dear and close friends. Just throwing that out there that, 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 that's what that is. The boys have to return the favor the next month, and that's called White Day, and it's a big, it's a big thing. And for the first time, and they did it in Persona 5 Royal, and um, it's always interesting. I, I really liked how they handled it. It was a very, very good scene. Uh, sequence in Persona 5 Royal. Not gonna lie. Uh, I, I did, you know what, I played that game twice. I, I have that itch. You know when you, uh, you beat a game and sometimes it's there and you're like, man, I gotta play this game again. I gotta play this game again. Uh, yeah, that's what happens with these Persona games. I wanna play them twice. And then when I play a different Persona game, so I went from, uh, Royal. I, I, my, I went Royal, then I played Final Fantasy VII Remake, then I went back to Royal, and then I jumped into, uh, I think it was The Last of Us Part 2, not long after that. And then after The Last of Us Part 2, I think I had some time between uh, when I finished that and uh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima uh, came out, so I played God of War Master, and then we blew through Ghost of Tsushima, uh -oh, the game was so addicting. Um, and then we played Persona 4 Golden. And then we kind of played it all the way through. Then we played King's Namlar, uh, Reckoning, and then we went back into Persona 4 Golden. So we really like jumped all over the place this year uh, in terms of games. But like these the games are games where I, I, I could play two, three times wrong. That's the only, the only franchise I could ever do that with. I actually never was able to play any game twice in a row outside of a Persona title, or even twice, like, you know, within a certain window. So right now, this is actually a fight that's forcing right, us to have guys, multiple turns, and that's going to be a blessing or a curse. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, this guy seems to be weak to physical attack, but, like, because their items are pretty crappy, and not only are our weapons crappy, but also, you know, this guy might have a high defense. We're doing, like, 3-4 damage to him. Like a Dungeons and Dragons, roll your D20. We hit him, alright? How much damage? Three. But then we get the all out attacks, and that really wipes him out, which is a blessing at the same time, uh, using the all out attack to wipe him out. Now, I think this is a bigger dungeon than some of the previous dungeons. Do the, if you guys haven't noticed, the floors are pretty big. They're very expans uh, expansive, if that's even the right word, but they're, they're big. And I think this one has more floors as well uh, than some of the other ones. I can't tell you how many floors because they're not listed as floor this or floor that. They're literally called Memories of Sorrow. You'll know you're pretty far in the dungeon when you get to the floor and it is you have that mini boss. I don't know if this one has a mini boss. I this is this is the one dungeon. So like I said, I played Persona 4 Vanilla a couple times, like once. Maybe twice, I don't recall. I played this one, this is like fourth time playing, fourth or fifth time playing this in its entirety. And I've had all my playthroughs very spaced out. We did like uh, two more in the Vita seven years ago. We did a Vita run earlier this year. And then we did uh, two runs on the PC. And, and this year as well, it's crazy three runs in this game. This is a much shorter game, in case you're wondering, than Persona 5. And uh, Persona 5 is long as hell. I am curious, Persona 5 is actually is listed as one of the games that's part of, I guess it's like the PlayStation Plus uh, thing for PlayStation 5. I'm curious though, if your save file, your save file won't transfer over from the 4 to the 5, so that would be like starting a brand new save file over again. And that would be interesting if it has its own separate trophy list and all that stuff. Maybe we'll do Persona 5 on the PlayStation 5. That, you know, that sounds very appropriate. I don't, I don't know for certain. We're not going to jump that conclusion just yet. Uh, let's see if we can get to the next floor here real quick. We're on Memories of Love. Memories of Love. We're getting there, guys. We're really getting there. I'm thinking... We'll 
probably reach Marine at the end of the next segment. Uh, we're gonna have to cut this dungeon in half, is what I'm feeling right now. Just calling it a hunch. <laughs> Because this is a pretty long one. We've actually been able to do a lot of these in, like, one shot. Yeah, this is, this is one that you have to do in one day, in case you're wondering. We we can't take a, a second day uh, to do this. You have to do this all in one fell swoop. And this actually looks like a great spot for us to call it a break today, guys. We're going to pick up next time. We're going to continue our hunt to save Marie. We're going to be on the... Uh, I don't even know what the name of this floor is yet. But we're going to pick up from this floor here. Uh, my name is Angry Mantra, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the Memories of Suffering. With more Persona 4. Yeah. See you later, guys.